Well, I think the key decision for AI, uh, for a startup or an incumbent in AI, big firm, doesn't matter how big you are, key decision is what are you going to focus on? What application? What aspects of that application? And a lot of companies have gone for moonshots, big moonshots. They've said, oh, we're going to eliminate all the radiologist jobs. Uh, we're going to just automate all of it. Uh, healthcare. So IBM started off with that. And then, uh, you know, other firms have tried to automate all of radiologists. They've tried to do all self-driving. They've tried to, for these moonshots that I think are very, very difficult. And so I think that firms need to think more carefully about what applications are out there, which one, how well are they doing? And what does that say about what you should be doing? Well, I think that a lot of people have uh, got too optimistic or projections. And a lot of those optimistic projections came from uh, some books, Rise of Robots, uh, World Without Work, where the authors looked at academic papers and they said, well, the academic papers describe this application. Well, this is going to happen in 10 years, five, 10 years, or even sooner. Or here's a startup that's offering this kind of product. That's going to succeed. That, that's what their projections were based on. but those are far too optimistic. So True. we need to, uh, you know, think more realistically about what actually is going on in these applications. Many people want to believe that what they're involved with is going to succeed tremendously. They want to believe that they're part of some big historical change going on in the world and uh, they're a big reason for it and they're doing all these great things. It's only natural for people to think want to think that they're involved with great things yeah well they're not looking at the right things they don't they like as i mentioned the world without work and rise of robots was looking at these academic papers and looking at the startup products product startups are offering and and my approach is to look at what an application is actually doing how how well is it succeeding so you look back uh in history and you can see well at the beginning of the pc industry people were using pcs to uh to, to edit, edit, edit documents, to uh, make spreadsheets. Uh, and that told us a lot about what was gonna go, what was gonna happen to PCs. Uh, eventually, you know, that was in about 1980. So by the 90s, we had these enterprise uh, software. So I do the same thing with AI. I look very carefully at each application. I don't look at what people say is going to happen. You know, you can read these articles and they're always saying, uh, and the title may say something about how AI is transforming industry. And then you read the article and you realize there is no is in the article. It's all will, has the potential. You got to be very careful with these words. These, a lot of people are very slick. You know, they, they yep. start off saying, I'm going to tell you what's actually happening. And then they don't tell you what's happening. They tell you what they think will happen. Well, the thing about radiology. If you're going to go through a breakthrough and you're going to replace those radiologists, the AI has to work better than the uh, radiologist before you can use it. So it, it's very hard to, to do that. That's all I've been in the lab. You, you have to, to achieve that before you can begin to implement your software. But if you augment, all you have to do is enable the radiologist to do a little better AI, a little better at AI than mm -hmm. The radiologist by himself so that's much easier and then you achieve that and then you improve the ai a little more so that now the ai augments the radiologist a little more and you keep doing that and over time you increase the amount of ai that the the radiologist is using you increase you decrease the time that the radiologist is spending on these uh on, on reading these images and so over time you have an improvement in ai a diffusion of ai we have all these things that we want Well, that's fine. I think we need to address these issues. I think we need to be more honest in our assessments of technologies because an honest assessment is going to lead to better implementations, can lead to better decisions about those implementations, which will then lead to better implementations. So we need this, uh, we need an honest assessment. Well, I hope you'll get a lot. I hope you'll find it interesting. And I hope this is a start of a relationship with between you and WOW AI and myself.
And so I, I look forward to any future uh, interactions. Thank you.